All right, so finally getting around to reorganizing my ridiculous amount of beads. There's just piles and piles of them and they've gotten all mixed up and out of order. So I'm going to try to put them back again, like with like. While we're down here, let's have a look at the progress of my reorganization over the last two weeks. It's now April 26th, yep. And I've gotten some bins from Amazon and some um, black clips for the bins from Amazon. And I've got some smaller bins with the clips on them as well. But I've got all my paper here got things from my previous drawer in here which are things that i'll use regularly got clips and pins and tacks got a lot of the stuff over here so i've got my sewing i created a makeshift um shelf here because I can't find any shelves for this skinny bit and all of these InView totes are out of stock and I'm gonna need more of these um, tracks as well. But there's our sewing station with our sewing machine under there. And this is where my beading kind of starts. And got my seed beads here and I've been labeling some things. Got um, this, just has more beads. Got stains, painting equipment, paints, brushes. Um, these are all the dividers for the different uh, drawers. So I'll put those in the totes. Uh, we've got our glitters and uh, sequins, some clay supplies here. Got some chalk pens, permanent markers, and I've labeled these as well. Um, more of my jewelry, so those are my wires, tools, paints, this is where the scissors and things will go, glues at the bottom. Got tapes and glues and adhesives and string, more glue. This is just a glue gun for now. Got strings and yarns. This is actually for jewelry making, but I don't do much with it anymore for my Shambhala stuff. So that's all my Shambhala bracelet making stuff. Um, these are all miscellaneous papers. So some of them are scrap and then some of them are actually like cardstock and things. Uh, and then down here we have labels. We've got removable vinyl with lots of different colors and some work that I've already done. Isn't that cute? And this is the iron-on vinyl and then roll vinyl here. Got silhouette machine parts and extra blades and things like that. Pens. I've started art supplies so pastels and things like that will probably go up there somewhere and then ribbons with their sort of color coordination or at least theme you know there's my christmas ribbon and harry potter ribbon then on the back we've got some little clips uh for my silhouette mats and rulers and art things that I'm finding between Michael's supplies and mine. I've got chalk over here because I use chalk when I'm painting. Um, if I need to draw an outline of something, lots of pens and pencils and lead. So that is the beginnings. And there's my silhouette machine already plugged in and ready to go. And then I reorganized all but this. So my whole bead cart 
This is actually a, um, a food cart for baking and it rolls and these are all baking trays. And what I did, they were run, rubbing a little rough. So I just put some felt on the bottom of each of the baking sheets, but this allows me to um, access all my beads very easily. And I have a lot of beads, y'all. I mean, I knew I had a lot of beads, but then when you start pulling things out and looking at them, um, you know, I've been collecting for a while. And this is my to-go pile. So this is all the beads that I'm gonna give away. Um, some young lady at the Goodwill is going to enjoy that, I'm sure. So these are all the, the boxes that I've emptied so far. And then this is all my stationery, but there's more stationery upstairs. So I'll probably take all the stationery and put it in the office upstairs. And let me show you where all of this was before. So it was all in these drawers. So these drawers were completely jam packed and those are now empty. These drawers were all full and they're now empty. And then there was where my cart was and I'm still working on the closet, but those are almost empty. We've got some more jewelry making tools that I don't use as often in there and some art tools in there. But this side of the closet is just going to stay because these are all of my show items. So anytime I go to set up a show, these are the items that I need to set those up. So my curtains and my signs and all of my mannequins and displays. And then these are where I keep all my show jewelry pieces. Um, this is all wreath making stuff. So I'll just leave that hung up for now but managed to get some of these shelves emptied. So, and then got that shelf emptied as well because we got some books and things that we moved over. And look at my beautiful Farscape picture. I love it. All right, so as you can tell, that's the light on in here and this is as much light as we get. Uh, so it was not, a very conducive space to crafting. So I'm glad that I'm able to move into the downstairs room. And we did have this dining table here and then Michael and I would craft between here and here, but uh, I've moved Michael out and he still has his TV. <laughs> And now I'm moving into this corner over here. So slowly but surely this pile will go away. Um, but I can't believe how much stuff I was really able to get in here. It's truly amazing. And I still have this whole side completely, uh, well, almost completely empty. I mean, those are both empty. So just this little bit here, everything else fit on this side. So a lot more room to grow and uh, I'll be able to put my dream card on this side and have a nice L-shaped um, table to sit at like I was used to, which is always really good, especially if you're sewing. There we go. All right, here is my newest Create Room box. It is, it is for my dream cart. It arrived today. My dream cart's coming along. Oh. I need to remember where I put things. I don't have a big Stanley knife, so this will have to do for now. And we're going to get this bad boy open. I'm really concerned that there are no bins in here. So I want to make sure that there are actually in-view totes in here. Sweet. Got some really good styrofoam. Nice. This will be good for Christmas. All right. So... It is flat packed. We got lots of hardware and wheels and things. Hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, there are no totes in here. So FedEx said that they dropped off two boxes, but 
there was only one box and the guy waved at me as he left my driveway. So I'm gonna need to contact customer service and make sure that they send me some totes. All right, so my second box came the day after and thankfully it is full of bins and shelves at the bottom. So now we just have to work on putting this bad boy together. Okay, so here we have all the pieces laid out. And then table one, table two. And then we get to building.
So here we go. Got all of my bins and shelves installed. Got some bumpers to use so that um, these don't hit the bottom when it's closed. And then I just need to install um, the hooks onto the dream box now. So here we have our completed dream box setup. We've got our cart, our dream cart with our bins and shelves all installed. It's on wheels. We've got all of our legs pushed up to the correct uh, height so that it runs nice and flat. And we've got our barrel lock here and actually that's the sash right yeah that's the sash and then here's our barrel lock now the cool thing is this lock was already on the table and it fits perfectly with the dream cart location so there's my beautiful setup looking forward to crafting now